Hi, everyone. Who's here in the audience? I'm here with April Mitchell. I'm Wendy Papazan, Papazan Properties Group. We're super excited. Oh, now you can hear us. There you go. We're super excited for the webinar. And I'm here with April Mitchell, our Director of Operations. I want to see who's here. Just take a minute and use the chat box and tell us who's here. I don't care what you put in there. Tell us where you're from or what you had for breakfast or whatever. Oh, hi, Rhonda. Lucas Costa Howard. Rica. Oh, wow. The Wola Group. Oh, Jenny. Costa Rica. Wow. Awesome. Oh, Melanie. Oh, tons of people. Wow. Lisa Hoffman Murphy. Great. Scott's here. Avery. The whole gang is here. Love it. Yes. Awesome. Well, we're really, really excited to do this yes. today. Um, for me, leverage is a passion, and we're going to talk a lot about how to hire and retain amazing people because there's a lot of things that I have not done right in real estate. Uh, but one of the things that I think I have done right is I really focus on hiring amazing people. Absolutely. From the very beginning, you did. Including this lady right here. Yeah. So we're just going to wait a couple minutes because, you know, lots of people, still logging, people on. still logging on. We've got Crystal from Ontario. We've got an international group here. We have some from Costa Rica, people from Canada. Hello from Phoenix. And actually, you got an email yesterday yeah. from somebody in Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, she figured out um, the, the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> the time zone. Absolutely. All right. Oh. Kate Cod. Rush Chairman. What is that? I'm not sure. <laughs> is it like a fraternity name, Dave? Like Dave, are you? <laughs> Caroline, San Antonio. Street, San Antonio. Oh, down Street, San Antonio. Animal, Animal House. House. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> One of those guys. I'm here. I got my lab mug, you guys. How cool is this? Super excited. Yep. The only problem with the lab mug is you have to kind of be a lefty to drink uh, it yeah. during the webinar. Right. So hopefully, I don't spill on myself. Well, and everybody can still donate, right? For Gary's birthday, it's yeah. still going last year. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't donated it, I guess they were trying to raise uh, sixty-one thousand mm -hmm. dollars for all ATX. Love it. That's yeah, great. Got some swag. Got some swag. Oh, got swag from Austin too. Oh, great. It's Carmen. Hi. Well, let's get started, right? Let's it's three o two. Yep. I'm an on-time person. So am I. A lot of these people out here are operations <laughs> people, so <laughs> they like starting on time. Considering us late, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, well, so today we're really going to talk about the six steps to creating the life you want or how to build a killer operations team in a year or less. And really, this is for everyone. This is for agents who are just hiring their first assistant. This is people who are maybe already running teams. We're going to give you a lot of tips about that. Um, and then make sure you stay through the whole um, webinar because at the very end, we're going to talk about a timeline. And then um, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to get our free leverage list. So yes. make sure you tune in for the whole thing. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Great. All right. So we're just gonna really kick it off by telling uh, everybody a little bit about who we are. You want to start April? Sure. Um, I'm April Mitchell. I'm the Director of Operations here at Papasan Properties Group. I've been on the team now two and a half years yeah. and love it. It's just a great um, team and atmosphere and I'm really happy to be here. And we've seen phenomenal growth in oh, the last yes. two and a half years. Yeah. I mean, we've basically gone from about, how many people when you started, do you remember? I don't, I'm not sure. I think about 10. That's what I was thinking, 10. And now we're, yeah, at, I think, at 20. 30. Yeah, 29, 30. Yeah. It's hard to keep track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is amazing. So a lot of that's. Yeah. A lot of that's you know due to your leadership. So kudos to you. Thanks. Yeah. So I've been in business for nine years, and uh, like April said, uh, we've really grown a lot in the last basically eighteen months. And the reason we've been able to scale so much so quickly is is that we really we really have the foundation of our business mm -hmm. set. So it's really all about your systems and your admin side of your business. And I love my salespeople. Any of our agents are watching, they know I love them, and yet if all my salespeople leave tomorrow, I'm not upset because I know that we have this, you know, the lead gen, we have the lead gen systems, we have the, you know, pretty much every system we need just to have other agents come in and plug and play. So for sure. It's great. Oh, okay. So this is the one time I'm going to give you guys a pitch. This webinar is free, but the reason we do it is, is that we are expanding. Uh, we have uh, teams in Dallas, Houston, 
Austin and St. Louis, Missouri. And we're always looking for amazing people. So if you, if something speaks to you, like you're, you're, you know, you're watching this webinar and it's resonating with you and you're like, maybe I'm interested in hearing more about possibly joining their team, becoming an expansion partner, just go ahead and text join PPG to the number 44222. And then if you want that free leverage list, just send an email to buyingtime.papazian at gmail.com. So, great. So yeah, this is just, we're gonna start with the basics. And the basics is the millionaire real estate agent. Raise your hand if you've, if you've read the book. I wanna see in the chat box. <laughs> wow, look at all those, that's awesome. Let me ask you this question. How many of you have read it lately or recently? all those hands. A few more hands. Yeah. Yep. Well, here's my suggestion to you is that I've read it many times and actually I just reread it, actually read it on the 4th of July because <laughs> it's, you know, MREA yeah. means freedom, people. Patriotic. Yes, there. exactly. <laughs> and um, every time I read it, depending on what stage I am in the business, I take away something else from it. So really today we're just focusing on one section, which is the... Um, what, the, the organizational, organizational model. model. Yeah. Yep. And so if you haven't read The Millionaire Real Estate Agent or you haven't read it recently, just crack it open to page 196. 20 pages. 20 pages. Yeah, you can do that and read that because that's really what we're talking about today. It's the organizational model. So the step one, read the book. <laughs> and I got a, a, a treat for you guys. These levels are actually, you know, those of you who've read The Millionaire Real Estate Agent know that there are different levels that are talked about in The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. And these levels are actually a sneak peek from The Millionaire Real Estate mm. Agent too. Some of you know, I have an inside connection <laughs> with one of the co-authors and um, he shows us what the, the levels are in MRA too. And this is based on a lot of data uh, from different teams all over the country. Wow, how exciting, a sneak peek I know, right? everybody else. Right? Yeah. So obviously the first level is what? Oh, you. Yeah. You're doing everything. Totally. It's just you. Yeah, it's just you, which is a ton of stuff to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's exhausting actually. Those of you that have no leverage in your life know that it's, it's really hard because you're literally doing all the tasks yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we got the second level where you have your first hire. And a lot of people view this as hiring an executive assistant. I really think you're looking more for an assistant executive. What do you mean by that, April? To me, that means leadership. Can okay. this person help you grow an empire? Does this person want and desire to grow something with you? A lot of people just want a job. They just want a job, yeah. And the problem is, a lot of people, when they make this first hire, they, they, they go cheap. Yeah, they go really cheap. They try to get the cheapest person to do the tasky type jobs when really you need someone who's going to help you grow an empire. Yeah. So your first hire is really, really, really important. Yeah. And then we go to third level. Oh, three, yeah. Yeah. And at this point, I think it's when you're really testing the leadership of your admin. Totally. Can they succeed through others? Mm -hmm. That means are they able to be self-managed themselves? I mean, they need to be self-managed before they can manage other people. Exactly, yeah. And the key to, you know, I think a lot of people are like, oh, I have, you know, I have to micromanage this person. No, you don't want to hire anyone that you have to micromanage. No. Absolutely not. You're looking for leadership. You're looking for a leader who can hire and train other people. Because honestly, Gary will tell you that if you hire the right person for this as your lead admin, they're going to hire everybody else for you. Well, and... I don't think they would want to be micromanaged. No, right person. No, nobody. Who wants, like, raise your hand if you want yeah. to be micromanaged. <laughs> no. There's like one person. Right. Like, no, no, <laughs> and then we have the fourth level, and, you know, it continues to show you how to leverage your time. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. So, as a agent, um, you really want to master this, like, succeeding mm -hmm. through others. And note, you know, what's missing from this yeah. is what? There are no agents on there. There's no besides agents. You. Yeah, I mean, you've got a showing assistant, which right. is probably license. going to be licensed, and yet there's no buyer agent. On right. And you're already at the fourth level. Yeah. Right? So the, the key is really to master that hiring process. And if you are in that administrative role, you should be having the conversation with your rainmaker mm -hmm. and saying, hey, you need to send me a career visioning because I want to learn these skills too. Right. Absolutely. You know? I mean, how many times have you gone to career visioning? 
think at least three times. Yes. Right. In two in two years. Yeah. And I've been to recruit select before that. Right. So exactly. So already, yeah, four times. Yeah. Literally in two years, and that's how important it is. And so if you if you are in an administrative role on your team and you haven't taken career visioning, then you need to put that on your program. Yeah, they can help you hire these other roles yeah, too. It's, your... it's super important. And I can tell you on our team, April is the one who's, you know, uh, we have a sales manager now, but for a long time she managed our um, ISA division. Yep. So, yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah, don't move. Just don't go away because there's exciting stuff at the end of the webinar too. So, this yeah. Is, this is what they tell you to do when you read. Um, how to create a compelling webinar. <laughs> they tell you to put stuff like this in here, so hopefully it works. <laughs> okay, well, this is important. Yeah. You gotta figure out what you need and where you want to go yeah. before you can bring other people on. Right, clarity is power. Absolutely. I think a lot of us that are agents, especially, uh, maybe not so much on the admin side, but a lot of us that are agents, we just do, mm -hmm. we just go, we just do, we just we move forward. And I love that quote by Abraham Lincoln, who says, if I had seven hours to cut down a tree, I'd spend six hours sharpening my ax. Yeah, absolutely. That's really what we're talking about. Instead of just doing, right? Step back, do a little planning, take career visioning, figure out where you want to go. Well, and I also think it's important to, at this stage, to find the culture that you want. Ooh, totally. So that way you're hiring the people that fit that culture mm -hmm. instead yep. of just hiring people and then figuring out the culture. Yeah, because I can tell you, if you hire someone and they're not a cultural fit for right. your team, uh -huh. it shows up in a really bad way. Yeah. And I so raise my hand. I have yeah. made that mistake many times. You made that mistake too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I know what happens. They leave. Yep. And, uh, and, and almost it's not that easy to say, this is the culture that I want, but you can write down some things like, you know, I, I didn't really fully develop my values probably until like six, six years into it. Mm -hmm. And yet I knew that I wanted to work with smart people. Right. I knew that I want to have fun mm -hmm. on my team. You know, I knew I want to work hard, play hard, you know, have so that life balance thing. Yeah. Make a, build a big business and yeah. a bigger life. Yeah. That's always, yeah. You exactly. So that's really important. Okay, so this is this is my number one thing for everyone. Literally everybody watching, no matter who you are, if you're in an administrative role, if you're in ISA, if you're you know a, a, a lead agent, you need to create a not to do list. Okay, so take a piece of paper. This is really simple. Take a piece of paper. Take some masking tape, scotch tape, and tape it to your desk and write across the top, not to-do list. And then that sits on your desk and every time you have that feeling like, ugh, I don't want to do this, you write it down. Okay. And you got a not-to-do list too, right? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I leverage things out to our transaction coordinator, our listing manager. We have two virtual assistants mm -hmm. that I mean, they're amazing, yeah. and I mean, if you aren't sure yet, if you want to hire somebody full time, I always recommend a virtual assistant. It's great. They're, and what do we? What what uh, company do we use for that? We use my help desk. Okay. Yeah, and we've been really happy with them, mm -hmm. and we have some fantastic. They're amazing. We kind of yeah. do what we do without them. And they're very inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like four dollars an hour or something. Yeah. So it's, it's a great place to start. So you just go to myoutdesk.com. Yeah, I think, it, well, when I started, we already had a relationship with them, right. so I just sent them an email when okay. we were ready to have a second one. Mm -hmm. Right, because you hired Cherry, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, got Cherry, and we go through an interview process. We did, like, interviews via Zoom mm -hmm. with them and our, our um, account representative, mm -hmm. and I interviewed several different possible candidates, mm -hmm. and yeah. And what did they do? for you, I mean, for the team. I oh my gosh, they do so much. If it is um, anything in our database, they do a lot of, so okay. updating our database when we get new people that have um, our sphere. Who likes to clients. update their database? <laughs> Raise your hand. I don't. Um, Nobody? Usually there's like one, <laughs> one weirdo. There's ah, one person. Yes, there we go. <laughs> um, they do that. They work with our transaction coordinator and our listing manager on a lot of the behind the scenes things like mm -hmm. just making sure that we have all the documents needed for compliance with the market center, just checking in that the agents are doing what they needed to do mm -hmm. and just really keeping us on track. I mean, I cannot imagine how we would function without oh, yeah. them. 
Well, and it creates, creates more profitability on yeah, the team. Totally. Like we had a point, oh, and, and Ramon has a question, which is, uh, what's the name of the website again? I'm not sure, but the company is called My Outdesk. So it's M-Y-O-U-T-D-E-S-K. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure they'll have a booth at Mega Camp next week, too. Yeah, or you can Google it. it. Yeah, I'm sure. It. I'm pretty sure it's MyOutdesk.com. Yeah, if probably. it's not, then um, hopefully you can Google it. Yeah. Yeah, so I, and recently we've really, um, you know, we had a situation where we were really feeling like, yeah. oh, we need to hire another administrative person. Yeah. And I just really said to April, I'm like, what can we do with the VAs? Mm -hmm. And so we ended up um, hiring a VA. She was part-time. Yeah, part and so I just reached out to her, and she's a student in the Philippines. And I said, would you have time to work more? And mm -hmm. she was really interested in that. And we just leveraged so many tasks that our contract to close mm -hmm. manager were you know, that she was covering and now Cherry is doing them. Yeah. And first of all, our contractor close manager is able to breathe now. Yeah. Um, she really appreciated that. And she's a lot happier, but we're managing way more transactions yeah. without. Well, she gets to do the, the, the solving the problems right. and the customer care, which is really where her passion is. You know, she, nobody really wakes up like, Oh, I can't wait to do another green sheet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and so, you know, getting that leverage for your leverage is mm -hmm. huge. Yes. It's huge, it's huge, because it helps you retain them, and then they get to grow, and they get to do more of what they love, and they create a not-to-do list, and right. everybody's not-to-do list is different, Yeah, right? You guys get that? You are building a business, so you get to do what you want to do, right? You just have to hire people and create systems for the things you want to do with. Yep. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> Mind blown. Mm. Okay, this is huge. Ugh, the yeah. KPA. Yeah. Yep. You need to ask yourself what are your what are your strengths and your weaknesses, especially for agents, because yeah. you have a lot of weaknesses. <laughs> you have a lot of strengths, but you have a lot of weaknesses too. And the weird thing about being an agent is, is that you're doing a lot of things outside your strength zone. Mm -hmm. So you're doing the sales stuff, but you also have to do the paperwork, right? Right. You have to do the admin side of things. Like literally, you know, Jamie, she's our transaction coordinator. She comes in every day and her one thing is, she says, I'm going to make brevity my bitch, which is her, <laughs> which is basically her way of keeping, it's our system for keeping track of all the tasks we have to do. And she so we'll sit down. She'll just knock out 150 tasks in a day. And if I had to do that, I would, I would probably kill myself. It would be very painful for yeah. me to do that for more than one day. Jamie loves it. Yeah, she's very happy. So, whatever your strengths are, right? Know your weaknesses mm -hmm. so that you can hire to your weaknesses. And how do you how do you find out your strengths and weaknesses? Well, I mean, the KPA, the Color Personality Assessment, is a great place to start. Um, how many? There, raise your hand if you've done one. If you've administered one. Oh yeah, there we go. Good, 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 good. Yay. I mean, it's like twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. Like it's the best investment. We even had people here have their spouses take them. Yeah. When it came out to learn, their, why not? You know, it's a relationship, just like it's twenty dollars. And if you want to do a bunch of them in one month, mm -hmm. I think they cap it at a hundred bucks. Maybe. So, yeah, it's very inexpensive because the cost of a bad hire. Oh my gosh! I mean, it could be a hundred thousand dollars plus. Totally. Lose a client. Mess up your systems, ruin yeah. your database. Sixty thousand oh. dollars for someone. Right. Mess up your database. They could steal from you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The cost of that hire is huge. It could it could cause people to leave. Right. Absolutely. Other people to leave the team because one bad apple can. Especially with you guys. You guys are a startup. Mm -hmm. You're a little tiny startup, and a bad apple can spoil the whole bunch for Absolutely. sure. Because your culture is really important. And the KPA like walks you through the questions to ask. I, I mean, it's dummy proof. Right. I'm like, it's the easiest yeah, thing it's ever. So much easier. Who thinks that the career <laughs> visioning is a lot easier than recruit select? Definitely me. Yeah. <laughs> I had a hard time with remembering all those codes. I know. <laughs> it was tough. It was tough. So if you haven't done the KPA, this is essentially what it looks like. This is the job fit report, and it gives you a list of personality traits. And depending on you, your job, you're gonna you're gonna be looking for different things. You know, I'm looking for people who are smart, so I want somebody with a higher vocabulary. I, I like speed on my team. Mm -hmm. I don't we sure. don't have really any no. slow people, mm -hmm. so I like that responsiveness okay. to be fast. Because again, we're in a startup environment; we're moving quick. I like assertive people. I like logical problem solving, you know, because honestly, what do we do all day in real estate? 
constantly. I feel like that's all we do all day yeah. is just problem Problems. solve and whether it's a document that the admin team is trying to figure out that we need or an agent that's problem solving, it's just, it's all we do all yep. day, every day. All day, every day. Yep. So depending on who you are though, I mean, you might think, you know, and I want to, I want slow people. You yeah. might just say, you know, I want to work with a lot of slow people. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. <laughs> uh, but I've messed most of you out there, you know, and honestly you, you, you want you want your probably you want your admin team to be somewhat more right. methodical of at course. least Absolutely. yeah instead of like rushing through everything yeah and you're gonna learn all about these when you take career visioning yes. just so you know they go through all of this yeah. and the job matches and the different categories it's you'll learn a lot there about it yeah yeah it's awesome and take it over and over again yes um. Uh, that's funny, Jerry. I love that. Yeah, Jerry says, hopefully we can share this. Funny thing, when my lead agent called me in for an interview, his first sentence was, you are a little too assertive for what I'm looking for. <laughs> he was looking for someone to just complete tasks. But here I am, killing it and helping him build his business. Yeah, All right. that's what we're talking yes, about. absolutely. Yeah, well, I'm sure that was a big learning lesson. Yeah. Yeah, and that's just so important because I think a lot of people have that mentality mm -hmm. because they don't have the vision. Right. right. They have no vision. They're like, I just need to yes. take this pain away. Right. Exactly. But really, you're looking for an empire builder. Yep. Someone who could, you know, build build the business with you together. Mm -hmm. For so, sure. Yep. There's a really good book called Rocket Fuel. Yes. It's where a great it talks one. about being a visionary and an integrator. And if you haven't read that, it's good for both, you know, rainmakers and operations people. It just talks about using your complementary skills to really soar. Yep. So it's a good one. Yeah. So speaking of vision, yeah, super important. And if you don't have a vision for your business, and if, you know, if you're a lead admin listening to this, you need to mm -hmm. you need to go to your rainmaker and be like, listen, if we're gonna grow, we need to. Know, I need to know where you're going. Um, and, I, and I look at this vision of Keller Williams, which is, of course, to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth getting, and legacies worth leaving. And that's amazing. Well, and that's how you got your first hire was because of your vision. Absolutely. Right? Like yeah. when you were bringing Roz on. Absolutely. So the great and powerful Roz, she was, she was actually my second administrative oh, okay. hire, but my first one, my first one was very much exactly like Jerry said. I, I had that mentality. I want somebody to just take the pain away from me. And then I realized as I was growing, I really needed somebody more than that. So I let her go and um, yeah, and then Roz, great and powerful Roz joined me. Uh, I really wasn't selling that much real estate at the time, but I was able to paint a pretty big picture for her. So she saw, well, she saw something that day, I guess. Well, my favorite story is when she, you hired her, what did you tell her? That I you me? didn't know what the process or what, how you're uh, going to pay or anything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh well. So here's the thing too: is that you? I think a lot of a lot of agents hold themselves back because they're, they're like, I I need to get better at my systems before I hire someone to right. implement my <laughs> systems. And so I can tell you from experience that if you hire the right person, they do all that for you. Yeah. So literally, I hired Roz, and that first week I was like, I've never had a W two employee. <laughs> I don't know how to pay you. I have no payroll. Right. <laughs> you need to figure all that out. That's your first job. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. So. And she's. I here I am. Figured it out. Sure. Exactly. Right. I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we learned that to me. <laughs> um, and I'm sure everybody has heard of Ben Kenny. Here's his vision here too. Dominate markets, make millionaires, and give millions. Yeah. And uh, is there anything in about real estate in there? No. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah. But Big vision. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Big vision can do vision. a lot. I mean, yeah. it's like, that's why I'm here. Totally. Yeah. And then uh, we've got my vision, which is to empower and inspire big thinking leaders to create a life of abundance for themselves and everyone they serve. So again, nothing about real estate in there. Yeah, absolutely. But my vision when I started was I wanted, the reason I got my real estate license was I wanted to save money on investment properties. Yeah. And imagine that like, right. you'd come in for the job interview right. and, and, and you'd ask me, Wendy, What's where are we going? going? I said, oh, we're just here to save money on investment properties. Yay. Yay. Let's do that forever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, and this vision is how we, grown totally. so much yeah. in the past several years and we have these amazing people on our team because of this vision totally yeah, it's huge so 
Okay, so what are you looking for? Well, definitely need some flexible people who can grow with us. Why is that? Well, because we're moving. It is real estate. We're, I do feel like we're constantly changing and we're going from here to there and we need people that are okay with that. Yeah. What, what would happen if we had inflexible people? Oh my gosh. They'd probably leave. But they would have to leave. They would hate it. Right. They wouldn't enjoy it at all. It'd be hard because you guys, you're a startup. Yeah. You're a little tiny startup. Yeah. And so you got to be, you got to flexible people. Also people who can shift in their roles, yes. right? You talked to Jamie mm -hmm. um, and her roles changed a ton since yeah. she started. Yeah. You know, she's been with me five years now and, and so is yours, right? Right. Even oh, even years. in two and a half yeah. years. I mean, yeah. I had no idea that I'd be doing <laughs> half the things I'm doing now. Yeah, that old job description. Right, I know. Yeah. Everybody so, that's going to email me asking for my job description, yeah. you will need to update, update that, I guess, yeah. to get a chance to change. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, we're looking for leaders. Yeah, you want everybody people? on our team is a leader, regardless Absolutely. of their role. Yeah, and here's the way you can tell someone's a leader. I got this from Gene Rivers, is that everybody on your team should be able to teach someone something. If they can't that's teach and that. train, then they're not they're not good for your team, you know, right? Ah, oh, Gene, I don't know. know. So smart. Gene. He's my favorite. He is the best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you know, know what kind of people you're looking for. Uh, I love this picture. <laughs> this is um, a storm Halloween. Yeah. Last year, a couple years ago, actually. And you know, one of our values is to have fun. So I'm sure that day we all dressed up as Gary Keller and walked around the office with mustaches <laughs> would have been very painful for anybody on our team who wasn't aligned with our values. Absolutely. Yeah. Most of us, as soon as we heard the idea, it was Jamie's idea. We yeah. immediately knew really? that was what we wanted. Yeah. Ordered them from Amazon. <laughs> I think you were even out of town and we were like, we got it. We yes. got it all figured out. This is what we're going to do. I was Everybody skeptical at first, actually, but <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, that was like the it. funniest day. It really was. In my life. Yeah, it was funny. It was amazing. And then we, we actually sent this picture. I don't know if I told you this, but I sent this picture to Gary. <gasps> I emailed it to him. Oh, that's great. And uh, Gary wrote back. He's like, oh, it looks like a smart bunch. <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. Yeah. Well, you know, how could, of course we are. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is huge. Yes. How many of you are HR professionals? Raise your hand. Looks like nobody there. Oh, one. Oh, oh, two. Couple. Okay. We got a couple of people there. You have a huge, huge advantage. Okay, Selena, two. So three. Yeah. Three out of the 350 I think people we that are registered. Almost 400 people that registered. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. So you're not alone if you don't yeah. know what you're doing <laughs> about not having a clue about the hiring process. And you would actually hire, you probably hired more mm -hmm. people than me. Yeah. yeah. I hired a lot of people in my old job. Yeah, for sure. Um, but the good thing is you don't need to have a clue. I mean, Keller Williams has spent who knows how much money Millions. and time and resources Millions. to create Millions. this process for you. Yep. I mean, how many other companies would do that for you? That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And I talked to some people and they're struggling with their hiring they're struggling with their leverage and they've never gone to career visioning. Wow. They don't think it's important. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Nope. I would say spend the time, spend the money. It, it saves you so much money in the end. So much money. And the way you find out about um, career visioning, let's just lower that. Yeah. There we go. The way you find out is you can go to kwconnect.com and you can, there's a search thing at the top. Actually, do we have that little? Yeah, so it's right go. here. If you go to the calendar, so KW Connect, because this is like a little hard to find. Mm -hmm. Go to KW Connect, go to the calendar, and then you see how I have on the in that search bar on the upper left, guys. Um, it says career visioning. That pulls up every single career visioning class, not just the ones at Keller Williams International. And you can see, well, you can't see, but if you were to do this, excuse me, this search you would see that there's, between now and the end of August, there's at least 20 mm -hmm. classes being taught all around the country. So don't let trying to get to Austin and, and, and staying here and schlepping here hold you back because there's probably, in the next three months, there's probably a career visioning class being taught near you. Yeah, I looked on there yesterday, and I mean, there's one Kristen Cole, 
is teach you one in Arizona and for like hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I mean that is so I mean, low. It's like giving it to you for free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is so much cheaper than at Keller Williams. It's like five hundred. Yeah, exactly. There, so. And then you have to travel a year and things like that. Yeah. She's an amazing instructor. Yep, yeah, she is. So yeah, let's go back. Oh, back on. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And then just a reminder: um, everybody should go to career visioning. Yeah. I mean, we've sent everybody. We've sent everybody. We just send everyone. I don't care. It's expensive and you do it and it's worthwhile. And if you want to grow, grow your leadership and your team, you need to send them to career vision. Otherwise it's all you, right? Exactly. That's yeah. how, I mean, we've sent our ISA. We want him to grow our team. Yep. So we want to invest in him so That's that neat. he knows the process. Yep. hundred percent. That one. There we go. Okay. This is a big one. Yep. This is a hard one. I would say going to career vision is a no brainer. Mm -hmm. Figure out what you want. You should just do that. Uh, but acquiring the habit of looking for talent, this is the tough, this is where people get stuck mm -hmm. because uh, most of you are already busy. Yep. Yeah. You're already really busy. Absolutely. But think about it. Every person you interact with throughout your day, talk to them. Who do they know? Are they, well, first, are they looking for an opportunity? Yep. And if not, who do they know that's looking for an opportunity? We also always reach out to our clients. Yeah, we love our clients. Yeah, how do they know what type of customer service we want to provide to them? Yeah. They're the best people to help us find yeah. people when we have, you know, empty spots. Absolutely. Yep. It's it's just it needs to be. It's kind of like uh, when you start, like when you take bold, for instance. Mm -hmm. For those of you that have taken bold, what's the great thing about bold is, is it gets you in that lead generation mindset constantly. And so wherever you're going at the gas station or wherever you're, you're asking people, Hey, who do you know wants to buy or sell? Mm -hmm. And that's what you need to do with talent because you guys, you guys need to understand that this habit of, and this ability to hire amazing people will cause you to be very successful in whatever you choose to do. A lot of people are out there doing everything yourself. Or maybe you're a lead admin and you're doing everything yourself, right? You're just maxed out. You're just like, I'm just going to work more hours in the day. I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. But like, I always tell people, I think about the guy who started Coca-Cola. Yeah. Right. What if he'd said, you know what? I'm going to do it all <laughs> myself. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make Coke. I'm going to, I'm going to get in a truck and I'm going to deliver the Coke all right. over the world. I'm going to create the commercials, you know, to advertise the Coke. Right? It's, yeah. It's oh, it's ridiculous. No, I probably wouldn't have died of them. You would have had time. To <laughs> I know. About. I know. But I mean, that's the thing. You got a big vision. You yeah. want to grow. Then you have to acquire this. You have to acquire the habit of looking for talent on a daily basis. Oh, every time I have a good Uber driver, mm -hmm. I always yes. ask them because well, April's an Uber connector. Yeah. Well, especially Uber drivers. Most of them, that's their side gig. Yeah. They're or they're looking for an opportunity. There's some reason that they're doing it in between. So I always ask my Uber driver, and I always ask my waiters if I think they provide good customer yeah. service. And I mean. They're flattered. Totally. If they're not interested in something else, they're yeah. at least flattered that yeah. I think they're doing a great job and I would want to work with them. Yeah. And it helps build profit share. If yeah. They want to go into I mean, it. April you know. brings somebody, you know, to me at least probably once a month. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's an Uber, Uber connector. Not, just, not, not, not like Uber, the car. Right. Yes. Like, yes. She's, she's <laughs> an awesome connector. Yeah. Yeah, you got a time block. Yeah, for it. just like everything else, you have to time block for it. It's a, you know, I have a weekly goal of meeting people either from my sphere or just new people out and about. And I always, of course, ask them if they're, you know, going to be purchasing or selling a home anytime soon. And then I also ask them if, you know, are they happy in their job? Are they wanting a new opportunity? Even at the dry cleaners, yeah. like the dry cleaners next door to me, they're amazing. And I'm constantly trying to get them to leave their job. <laughs> and I would have that dry cleaning, I guess. But maybe that's not for the maybe best. Not, but. Yeah. Well, just out of curiosity, how many people actually have talent goals on their on their goals? Raise your hand. Good. You got some good ones on there. Okay. Ella, Hannah, Gigi. Gigi. Yeah. Yep. Melanie. Yep. Probably, probably not enough though, especially considering how many people are here. That's yeah. not very many of yep. you guys. So put it on your calendar, create goals for yourself. You know, your goal might be, I want to meet with one talented mm -hmm. person a week. It might be a KPA goal. 
if you're trying to get good at validating the KPA, give it to your friends, yeah, give it to your clients. Absolutely. I mean, what a, what a great way to make a client yeah. for life. That's hey, you know what? I love being in this transaction with you. Mm -hmm. I know you got a job that you love, and yet I just like I just thought you're so amazing. I'd love to give you this personality test yeah. that we've got, and you and I can sit down and coffee and go over it. Yeah. Well, it's just so fun. Literally, nobody has said no to that. Yeah, that's script. Literally, no. The other thing I just want to to say is that somebody said this to me once and I thought it was so wise. So you could spend four hours a day lead generating for a listing or you could spend four hours a day lead generating for someone who's going to lead generate for a listing every yeah. day. And that's Absolutely. true. You could say that's true with every single thing, every single you know thing on your not to do list. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, where to find good people. <laughs> this is our beautiful team leader, one of our beautiful team leaders, Melanie. And actually, Gary's given me some talent, too, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Not as much as Melanie, but... She's on to work on that. I know, right? I think he's busy, like, saving... I know. Saving <laughs> agents um, from technology. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, definitely uh, sit down with your team leader. Mm -hmm. Be clear with what you want and have them help you because that's their job. Yeah, is, is looking for talent as well. And they love doing it. I mean, she, our team leaders are constantly checking in with us and we're checking in with them. Yep. Like, how can we help each other yep. make everything a win-win? Yep. And always give them a thank you note yeah, and absolutely. a card, yep. a little Starbucks gift card. It's yep. just amazing. Reward with the behavior. Yep. Exactly. Thank you so much for your referral, handwritten note, you're the best. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Because they, they, want, they, want, they want to see you grow because they know that if you hire a great administrative person, then you're probably going to hire some great agents. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Eventually. Yeah, they are great. Oh, Mark says, Melanie is awesome. Oh, I think career vision with her. Yeah, she's amazing. She's awesome. Yeah, here's your script. I have so much business. I need help. Yeah. Who do you know that's looking for an opportunity? Well, and everybody I know is always looking for a reason to reach out to their clients, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so why not do a touch to all of your clients, yeah. asking them? Yeah, or do something really simple, like make a video. Right, so fine. Post it on Facebook, send it out to your sphere. Hey, I need your help. And, and you know, it makes you look like a successful person because yeah. you're growing your business. Well, and one of the things I shared with Wendy recently, and this was Jay's idea, so or suggestion to me. So oh, yeah, I didn't this is great. I didn't do it myself, come up with it myself, mm -hmm. but I try to meet with somebody from my sphere once a week. Mm -hmm. Um and the one of the questions I always ask them first is what can I do to help them with their business? Yeah. And honestly, you guys people are usually so overwhelmed okay. that somebody's actually asking them how what I can do to help them. Yeah. But of course they're most of them are really nice people and immediately ask me, Well, what can I do to help you? Yeah. And it's just like strengthens that relationship yep. and every time now they think of somebody they send them to me yep. because I'm helping them with their business so they want to help me yep. and think about how big your bench would be is if you time blocked one coffee yeah. a week that's what April's got mm -hmm. that's what Jay's got I don't have the habit yet um, but one one hour literally mm -hmm. one hour out of your week for meeting with a talented person yep. at the end of the year what was that? One times 52 is what? 52. 52. Yeah. Yeah. 52. Yeah. Meetings with talent. Pew. Hello. Yeah. I was a little bit behind, so I have three this week. I had a second one today, and so I think we're going to have a listing appointment for it <laughs> later. You know, so it wasn't Love necessarily it. for talent, but at least yeah. I'm, you know, finding other ways to get passive income. Absolutely. Yeah. Love the team. Yep. Just a habit. Yes. For sure. Okay, so once you've got your amazing uh, executive assistant or your assistant executive, you want to be able to hold the table. What does that mean? Well, to me, I think of it as you want to, you want to like let them take some of the systems and some of the things that they need and let them come up with how to fix them. Absolutely. Don't, not micromanaging. Nobody mm -hmm. likes to be micromanaged, I don't think, or nobody that you want to be in business with. Nope. And, let them be creative and let them come up with yeah. solutions. So here's what I recommend for those of you that are about to hire your first person is that you hire that first person. If you're like me and have nothing set up, they need to figure <laughs> out how to get paid. And then once, and then once they do that, they just follow you around. 
They follow you around and they document all your systems. That's all they do, document, document, document. Because you all have systems, you may not have them on paper. Mm -hmm. Because guys, that's the backbone of your business. If you have no database, you have no documented systems, guess what? Your business is worth nothing. Yep. Two big fat zeros, nothing. Um, one of the things I always recommend to people too when they're hiring an admin is just, you can kind of leverage that out too, oh, yeah, right? Sure. I mean, first of all, you have these amazing resources that we've listed on the screen where you can go to KW Connect, of yep. course, you've got a 90 day training plan that KWRI put together. Um, Monica Reynolds has this great class called the Perfect Real Estate Assistant. Yep. Um, and then also, who has a good admin in your market center that mm -hmm. your new person can shadow yep. and just learn from different teams? How many shadow people do we get here? Oh my gosh, we have almost probably one person a week on average um, that they come in and they meet with myself and our transaction coordinator and our listing manager and we just show them how we do and how we do everything. And then we do the same for them. Like when we, when I meet somebody at family reunion or somewhere that has this like great system, I schedule a time to meet with them. Yep. Let's have a Zoom. Will you show me what you know what you're doing and what is successful for yep. you? And look at this website. You know, you guys know KW Connect, but then you go to this website, kwconnect.com/page/leverage-resources, and you guys, that's that's new. That's pretty new. When we took career vision, visioning a couple weeks ago, this was all new. So it's got that's got everything that has all because before you know, Kid Reconnect was always like, Ugh, yeah. can't find anything. So go to that page and it has everything on it. It's got all career visioning. It's got all the job profiles. It's got all the ninety days to success. I don't know what else. Is yeah, there? I looked at it yesterday. There's yeah, an and, entire leverage tab yeah. page now that has yeah. all of this there. Yeah. So it's, it's awesome. Oh, and yeah. then once you get this person, don't just, you know, oh, leave them yeah. alone. <laughs> you, need to, you need to time block yeah. spending time with this person literally on a daily basis, you know, yes. when they first come into your organization. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and we do that here with everybody who starts, whether it's an agent or an assistant. We check in with them at the end of every day. How did it go? Yeah. Do you have questions? Things like that. Yeah. Just so they, they yeah. know they can come to you. Well, and another thing that we didn't talk about before we did this webinar, but is uh, just, you know, start their first day in a nice way. Yes. Yeah. You know, I think that's one of the things that we do well <laughs> yeah. on our team is um, usually have flowers, yeah, something some flowers for, for them. them. Mm -hmm. First thing, I always try to show them where the bathroom is, yeah. where to get water. Yep. And often what we do is, is I'll send out that person's email address to the whole team. And I'll just say, this person's starting in a few days, we send them a nice, a nice email message. And it's like such a small yeah. thing. Uh, but how, how amazing is that? Yeah, and it's really like those it. little things that set you apart. I mean, if you're in a corporate job, they're yeah. not going to do that Never. for you. Never. So nice. Yep. Yep. So Edie has a question, which is, what is the kid of your eye 90 day training plan? Oh. So Edie, there's actually, um, there's 90 day training plans for every single, every single job role. So you go to that kdbconnect.com and you click on the, I think it's 30, 60, 90 is I what think it that says. It. And it has the 90 day training for each role. So for a buyer agent, for a transaction mm -hmm. coordinator, for inside sales, lead buyer agent, everything. Yeah. It's really handy. Very nice. Yeah. Just we just got to leverage what kid has got. Oh yeah, yeah. Speaking of, yeah. And again, <laughs> this is this is more leverage. We already talked about this. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't be skimpy, guys. Yeah. Don't be cheap. Yeah, it's worth it. Because you're gonna, you know, build building your business through people is the best investment you're gonna make. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think of how many companies don't have anything like this mm -hmm. and their turnover rate. I mean, I wish I had had this at my past jobs, just yeah. having this training available. Agreed. Oh yeah, hold the Mabel. So yeah. hire accountable people and uh, use the 411 if you're not using the 411 and then you wanna avoid the seagull management guys. Seagull management. <laughs> I see a lot of real estate agents who practice the seagull management. <laughs> They kind of like swoop in, they make a lot of noise, dump everything, dump all over everything, <laughs> but then they just swoop out, just like seagulls. That's right. Don't do that. No. Please that doesn't do make that. anyone feel good. No, 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 no. It does not make anyone feel good. So I think on the next page, we've got the 411. Yes. How many of you guys go. use the 411? Raise your hand. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. 
yeah, a lot of people. Well, if you're not using the 411, and if you're not holding your people able with the 411, I think 411 is a good mm -hmm. habit we have on our team. Um, so everybody meets with their supervisor, right. I guess. Um, their coaching, really their coaching manager. Mm -hmm. And they go over the 411 every week, yeah. every single week. Every week. And I don't think you've ever rescheduled my 411. Unless you're on vacation. Well, it's really important. I know. And I yeah. think that speaks volumes to me that it's a, that important to her that she doesn't reschedule it to me. I cry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it is, to me, the 411 is the thing. Yeah. Okay. So I spend probably an hour and 30 minutes with my 411 every mm -hmm. Sunday planning out what I'm going to do, what my, what my major goals are. And I spend even more when it's uh, before the next month turns mm -hmm. over. And if you guys aren't doing this and syncing it up with your calendar, then, you know, and if you're just starting the day, like mm -hmm. you just come in on Monday and you're answering emails, that's not a recipe for success. You want to be able to come in and know exactly what you get done on Monday. And so we have, a, you know, everybody's got a coach on the team, that's their supervisor, and we go over their goals every week. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the 411s are due 8.30 in the morning. Yep. Even though your 411 might be at 3 in the afternoon, right. it's at 8.30 in the morning so that you can start your week out right. Well, in most weeks, I always try to have five things as a weekly goal. Mm -hmm. And then that's already my one thing to do from Monday through Friday. I already have it there. I keep mine open all day long. And I always go back because sometimes I get distracted. And if I can't remember what is my one thing I'm supposed to be doing today, I go back to that yeah. constantly to remind yeah. myself that's right. I need to focus on these. This, these are the, my yeah. goals for the week. Well, some people like will literally print this out and keep it in their pocket. Yeah. Wherever they go. Jay does that. He puts on the inside of his notebook. Oh, huh. yes. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. And here's the, here's the hard part. How do you keep good people? I mean, you spend so much time, like, know. hiring and training and holding them accountable, and then, like, you're going, and then all of a sudden somebody leaves. Yeah. I'm and just curious. Like, what are some ideas from you guys? What are what do you do to keep great people? Yeah. Say, type, type some in the, in, the, in the box. <laughs> I know. We're just, like, staring at the box. Like. <laughs> okay. Everyone's like, go. dummy, that's why we're listening to this. Yeah. <laughs> Financial rewards. Financial rewards. Okay. Yes. Yep. That's that's definitely helps. Money helps. Yep. Oh, oh, Ruth. Ruth. Oh, nice Ruth. Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Getaways. Yeah, it's fun. Love it. You don't have to do things that big sometimes too. I think yeah. sometimes the smaller things yeah. are great. Keep them engaged. That's yeah. right. Absolutely. Weekly one on one. Ask me for their Oh, oh okay. I love yes. that. Yeah. We host a weekly one-on-ones asking for their satisfaction, one to ten, and career and happiness. Okay, well, that's awesome. That on. Yeah, right. Honest feedback. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially millennials, they like a lot of feedback. Yeah. Okay, time. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh shoot, <laughs> Mary and I. <laughs> and I blew you off on Monday. So <laughs> oh. I didn't really blow you off. I just pushed you too soon. Yes. Not servants. Yeah, that's like the bare minimum, David. Yeah, we don't want to treat people like servants. Things. Well, yes, mm -hmm. educational opportunities are huge. Yep, I love that. Contributing, sharing. Yeah. Yep, everybody wants to make a difference, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, for right. sure. So I think we do a lot of those. A lot of those things here. Yes. Um, I think even before that, though, you really need to think about your leadership. If you are, I mean, this is and this is for everyone, right? If you're a lead admin, if you're not a lead admin, you want to be a lead admin. You want to lead people. You got to work on your leadership uh, because I know for me, I, you know, I had led things in the past, but I certainly never had twenty nine people working. Yeah, for me, <laughs> you know, um, and you need to ask yourself this question: Who do you need to become to have the team that you want to lead? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the best way to learn how to become a leader is to lead stuff. Yes, and I think about my experience before I was a leader in a work role. I was a leader in a you know, volunteer positions, mm -hmm. my family, yep. things like that. I mean, there are a lot of ways to yeah. become a leader. And this will show up when you guys are doing career visioning, when you do the life story. Mm -hmm. You'll see leadership very clearly in the life story. Yeah. It's very clear. Where they tell you, oh, I led my, you know, I was the, the, the captain of my volleyball team mm -hmm. or president of my neighborhood association mm -hmm. or whatever it is. And that's leadership. You know, you lead, yeah. you lead stuff. 
Yeah. And that's what I tell people on my team. It's like, how do I grow my leadership? Well, you lead stuff. Yep. I like what Carmen said here too about how personal growth is key. And yes. Leaders. Lead. Absolutely. Yeah. Leaders are readers. Yeah. yeah. I read a ton. Yeah. Yeah. I read a lot of books. My goal is at least two a month. Yeah. Probably three. Yeah. Okay, so it's not always about the money, and yet you gotta pay competitively. Again, I um, I can remember, and I know my friend who I had this conversation with is listening right now. <laughs> I had this situation where an agent in my office said to me, hey, Wendy, let's go for lunch because I wanna pick your brain about you know hiring great people. And uh, we got into his, you know, Audi A7, which is a very nice car. And at the same time, I was saying, oh, your car is so awesome. This agent was saying to me, well, yes, it is. And then we went on to have a conversation about how expensive it was to hire a great assistant. <laughs> and so I said to this person, I said, hey, you know what? We're, we're sitting in your, in your executive assistant right now. You know that, right? We're sitting in your assistant yeah. right now. So, you know, what are the choices that you're making with the money that you make? Of mm -hmm. course, everyone wants to have a great car and yet put money back into your business, right? right? Pay people competitively so they stay. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody spelled this, love is spelled time. Yes. Yeah, which I think is really true, Absolutely. especially for me. That's, one, that's my love language. Mm -hmm. Well, and educational opportunities. I think of how much we provide on our team yeah. to everybody to become better leaders. Mm -hmm. And that's why they want to stay on the team because Absolutely. they know that we are investing in them. Yeah, everybody wants to grow. Yeah. Yep. And I see a lot of agents, they go to all these events all over the country mm -hmm. and they come back and they're all rubbed up and they're excited mm -hmm. and then they're, they're literally leaving their people in the dust. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not good. And fun is always nice too. Yeah. We do a lot of fun things we around do. here. Yes, we do. We, yeah. went, we went ax rowing. Yes, you that guys. It was really fun. It was amazing. Next time you're in Austin, Come yes. back there with us. And then we've just, just done some fun things for the ad, like for just the admin team. And uh, so one of the, probably the best thing that we've ever done. It was so amazing. It was fun. Wendy surprised us and we just followed her into the mall. Yeah. We had no idea what we were doing. We had a fun lunch first. We walk into Macy's and she just turns around and she hands us all $500 gift certificates yeah. to Macy's. And we had to spend it all there yeah. on ourselves. We couldn't leave yeah, I said, until we did it. I said, there's only two things, two caveats. One, you have to spend it all on yourself, right? Yeah. Which is hard for some of us, for yes. sure, because we all want to, you know, yes. have kids well, and things like that. Most of the administrative people on our team, yeah. all of them actually are very giving people. Yeah. And you, you have to, whatever you don't spend a day, you have to give back. I know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we, we were there back. forever. <laughs> I, got, I, I called Jess. I got I've been here like six I times. <laughs> I think at the end I was buying like eyeshadow. <laughs> I was like, oh, here's a $5 eyeshadow. <laughs> it was really fun. It was so yeah. fun. Okay, so you guys, so this is really gonna be a recap of what we just talked about. So we're gonna whip through this really quickly. This is gonna be like five minutes. This is the timeline for everything we just talked about. So if you wanna build a killer operations team in a year or less, then this is what you're gonna do. So again, we're just gonna whip through this. I'm gonna read the organizational model on pages 196 yep. to 215. Create your not to do list and take the KPA. Okay, you That's can it. do all that in how long? Like a oh. week. Okay, get that done fast. Absolutely. Yep. Hey, attend career visioning. Month one. Right. You're gonna add talent goals to your calendar, Takes time block. Five minutes. Right. That. Yep. Find someone, a coach or just Somebody someone else. to hold you accountable. Yep. You're gonna refine your job description. Yep. You can get a basic one on KW Connect to yep. start with, by the way. And then you gotta define your vision. Well, but remember your your job description is actually you're not to do that. Well, this. yes, that's true. Yeah. So you can take that. Or you can spend some time, you create a not to do list, yeah. and then think about your vision. You know, again, you're not married to your vision, no. you're just dating your vision. So figure out where you want to go, what, what that looks like. Okay, so boom. And theoretically, if you were fast, you could get that done in a month. It's oh, just, I don't know how quick you can get to career vision. Right, depending yeah. on what the schedule is, of course. All right. Okay. Lead generate daily for talent every day. If you want to do this really mm -hmm. well, you're going to take months three, four, and five, and you're going to get on the phone every single day, and you're going to lead generate for talent, and you're going to set up that coffee meeting. Yep. Okay. And you're going to not just do it once a week. You're going to do it every single day. 
Okay, so at the end of the three months, you're going to have met with 60 people. And this is really, you're looking for that first admin, mm -hmm. right? So you're 100% focused on lead generating for talent. That yeah. becomes your job for three months. Absolutely. Yeah. And then post your not to do list on Facebook, aka okay. your job description. Right. Everybody loves a video. Yeah. D.com, it's a great place to also post. And then also, most importantly, just asking every single person you know, everybody in contact with, yep. who do you know looking for an opportunity? Yep. And honestly, guys, this is the most important part because this is yeah. building your bench. What happens to a lot of people is they have a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. They hire out of pain. They meet someone, they say, Oh, I like you. You're going to take my pain away. Yeah. But they don't, they don't. They don't, all they have is one candidate, yeah. right? And what? how, how can you compare anybody if you only got one? So, and then they don't follow the process. That's why you need to use three months of talent. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, look through your resumes, and really what you're looking for is people who have experience with your not-to-do list. Yeah, right? Can you do, can you do database work? Can you, you know, are you familiar with Excel? Can you, uh, problem solve. Can you manage other people? Whatever those things are on your not-to-do list, they need to have experience with them. Yeah, you want someone with a track record, right? I mean, even if the track record isn't in real estate, yeah. you just want someone who can shows what they've been doing that will translate to your business. And to be honest, I, 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 I have never actually hired anyone with real estate experience yeah. on the admin side. Yeah. And a lot of our sales agents don't have sales experience either. Yeah. Just, it's more work, but it's worth it. It's fresh. It's really nice start fresh. Yep. And then once you've done all that talent uh, finding, you got to validate probably at least 10 KPAs. Mm -hmm. And then this is so crucial. This is the most important thing for that first person. You got to have a minimum of three people at the end through the hiring process. Okay. So you're about, you're literally comparing three people and you need to be happy with any of them. Mm -hmm. You need to say, I like this person, I can hire them. I like this person, I can hire them. I like this person, I can hire them. Well, and get an outside opinion, too. Yes. We are constantly, we have a lot of solo agents in our market center. I sat in on group interviews mm -hmm. uh, because they're by themselves. They're a solo agent. They don't have a team to come in, you know, do a group interview. So You're probably going to get a million people requesting shout oh, gosh. Oh, I know. <laughs> <interviews now. laughs> Um, but I mean, get some outside perspective. Yeah. Sometimes I do think we can become a little emotionally attached Absolutely. to them also when you've yeah. gone through this process with them. Well, especially a lot of you are people people. Right. So yeah. you fall in love with the person. Um, no, don't do that. Right. <laughs> so if you got six months, you already hired your first right. person. Exactly. Bam. 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 Exactly. And then you got to do the training, right. which we talked about. Okay, yes. That's 90 days. Yep. Okay. You got, can't skimp on that. Nope. You're going to send your assistant to the perfect assistant class through Matt's coaching. And then what are they going to do those, those first few months? Yeah, it's going to follow you around, document all of your systems. That's all they're going to do. Yeah. Well, they're also going to do other stuff. Well, yes. But as far as for training, yep. those are the key things to what they're going to do. Yep. And if they struggle with documenting the systems, you have not hired the right person. You yeah. need to fire them. Yep. Absolutely. Actually, it's really funny. I was... After we kind of went through this uh -huh. yesterday, I was listening to you oh, okay. across the hallway, oh, the tables across the hallway, and she says really sweetly to Jamie, who's our who's our like transaction coordinator. She says, "Now, Jamie, what is the process for if uh, the DA doesn't get into the MCA's office before closing? Right? Like that is music to my ears. <laughs> right? Talk about a minuscule." Right. Process. Yeah. Right. But we're big enough now that it happens. It happens. Right. So you need a process oh, for yeah. it. Right. Right. We got to have a double check process to make sure it gets a title company. Yeah. Mission checks. The yeah. best thing that you can do is build your business like a 20 lane highway, even though you're on a dirt road right now. That's the best thing that you can do. And as you grow, you'll have more flexibility and it won't feel so broken. It'll still break. Everything oh. breaks when you're growing. It breaks because you have no idea. <laughs> What it's like to, to when you when you go from one listing to five listings and then five listings to fifteen listings a month and then when you go from fifteen to fifty a month yeah. you just have no idea what's going to happen. Yep, and that's why you need someone who's flexible too can exactly. like go with it yep. and yep. take it and run with it yep. and help you exactly. figure it out. Yep. All right, so month ten, you're sending your admin person to career visioning because you want them to know the process so that they can help you hire and grow your team. Exactly, and you're gonna take it again with them because yes. you're not an expert. No. Except for those three people that are HR experts. Yes, yes. <laughs> yep. 
And then again, rinse, yeah, repeat, lather, rinse, lame. repeat, keep lead generating. And then your new assistant's going to take that next person through the full hiring process. Mm -hmm. And then again, they're going to be have three candidates that they present you, any of whom you would be happy with. And then there you go. You got your two full admin, yep. right, at the end of one month. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to do this for the rest of your life. Yes. Yep. That's How many people do. do you think you meet with a week? What are constant? Oh. oh. I don't know. A lot. I know. A lot. Like yeah. you're even like you have this yeah. team now of almost 30 people yeah. and you're still meeting with more than one person a day. Totally. Yeah. Lots of people. Yeah. Yep. Lots of people. That's my habit. Yep. Keep doing it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that's it guys. We're exactly at oh, we're exactly four o'clock. So nice. that's impressive. Fair. That's because we're doing it with right on time. Who's the operations director. <laughs> um, yeah. Any questions you have, we're happy to answer any questions. And then if you guys are curious uh, about our organization and you want to find out more about us, just text join PPG to 44222 or get that free list of 101 ways to leverage. Mm -hmm. Just do that. And then if anybody's uh, still around, we'll be happy to answer yeah. any questions. Okay, so we got a question here from Carolyn. She said, will this be available for playback later? Yes, yes. absolutely. And um, what if you need them to set up or improve your systems, Aunt Allison? Yeah, that's that's who you're hiring. You're yeah. hiring someone to set up and improve your systems. Right, but they have to understand all your current systems before they can improve them. So exactly. shadowing you and following you around will help them exactly identify you know the areas that need to be improved on. Exactly. Yep. 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 Okay. Any yep. other questions? There's. Well, thank you guys for for joining us. It was so fun, and hopefully you learned a little something and. You'll go back and create your own empire and uh, build your life by design. Yeah. Come find us at Mega Camp if you yeah. guys are going to be until next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.